on guys, Mike Mike here from Project Rise and today I'm mega excited because we're doing one of my favorite moves, the type writer pull up. Uh, in my opinion, this is a freaking cool move. Uh, it was one of the first calisthenic movements that I saw and I was like, you know what, I want, I want to achieve that. It's still part of my everyday workout, well not everyday, <laughs> still part of my work, weekly workout, my weekly routine. Um, and I'm really excited to share my take on it and how I learned it and some of the ways that I've been helping other people learn it. So before we do that though, I want to show you what's possible with this movement. So let's get to the bar and let's get going. video down into three sections. The first one's going to be positioning and form. Uh, second one is going to be prerequisites. And the third one is going to be strength training or training tips for to get this movement or to make it even stronger. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about is the positioning and form. So what you're going to need is a PVC pipe or a stick. You can use a broom handle if this is at your home. Um, and what we're going to talk about is the intricacies of what you need to do this on the bar. Okay. So this is a perfect place to practice because you can see where your chin needs to be in relation to the bar. You can also feel the movement pattern. So first things first, thumbs have to be over the bar for this movement. If they're under, it's super awkward to turn your hand over and you're going to end up getting a typewriter that looks like this. You can see it's like really nasty form, kind of shitty on my wrist, like it feels gross. So from here, if you have your thumbs over, what you're going to be able to do is move that hand across the bar. Okay? So what you're going to do is take this pole, and the very first thing you need to do is make this motion here. I know that looks really weird, but you've got to bring this arm as tight as you possibly can. From the back, you can see I'm resting here. If your elbow is away from the bar, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to hold this position and rep out the movement. Okay? So what we want to do is make sure this is super, super tight. So from here, I got this weird little grip going on. And this arm here, I'm actually not going to keep it bent. I'm going to throw my shoulder over the bar. Okay? So from here, this is a resting point. If you take a look at my fingers, I can actually move them. Okay? And I'll show you this up on the bar in a second. And as I re-grab, so I re-grab this, now my back is working, back is working, back is working. And I come over to this side and I do the same thing, I throw my shoulder over here. If you're doing it this way, and some people do do their typewriters like this, it's really hard to use this in freestyle. So I know a lot of people watching on the internet, doing calisthenic videos, and want to eventually um, use this movement in a freestyle routine, even if it's just a beginner routine. And in order to do that, you've got to be able to take breaks. Right? So this right here, with my elbow locked in, I'm using my lat and my triceps resting on it. And then here, I literally have no weight on this arm. It's just my shoulder. Okay. So that's the first little movement pattern that can help. The second one we're gonna do is actually on the floor. And I, this, is, this is where it gets really weird, right? Some people are definitely not gonna agree with this, but again, this is just my method for getting the positioning, okay? So I talked about this in my three push-ups uh, three push-ups that will change your life video. The typewriter on the bar actually starts with the typewriter on the ground. So stick to the ground and go back. Okay, so part of knowing the weight distribution of what you're going to need up top is understanding if your scapula can actually hold your body in a horizontal plane, okay? So I'll show you what I mean by that exactly right now. So let's say I go down here, okay, and I come to the ground, and I'm on my knees right now, okay? Let's say I go to the ground, and I come over here, and I collapse, and I can't even hold this. It's going to be exceptionally difficult to hold your entire body weight above a bar, so if you can't even do the knee typewriter, this is going to be really hard, okay? So this actually kind of bleeds into prerequisites. You probably want to have a ground typewriter push-up before you even go there. And I know it seems strange. That's a chest muscle. We're working a lot of back when we're there, but bear with me. Okay, so from here, now that I'm in my position, again, this is more so for your hands. So I'm gonna lock that elbow into my lat and see how this hand's kind of like weird right now, it's bent. Now I gotta shift it out here, okay? Now I actually have to turn my hand and traverse across this way to get to the other side, okay? And traverse, okay? So all this is patterning right now is this motion that you're gonna need on the bar, okay? Yes, you're gonna feel, obviously, the typewriter in your chest, but more importantly, what I want you guys to think about is how much you have to squeeze 
your scapula on your back in order to keep that hand position as you travel across, all right? So now that we have that, we're gonna take it to the bar. I'm gonna show you that motion, um, and then we'll go over the prerequisites. Okay, so putting that form together, first thing I want you guys to take a look at is my thumb position, okay? So as I grab the bar, now going here and touching up to the bar, because I just did the push-up variation, my body now knows, oh, okay, I'm not gonna be out here, I'm not gonna be here, because if I'm here, I'm gonna be too cramped, okay? So when you grab the bar, you're pretty much grabbing the bar in the exact same position that you would for your typewriter if you're on the ground, okay? So from here, I'm grabbing nice and wide, because I know my length, so I'm gonna lift up, thumb is over, I hit that pocket, right? So see from here, there's a lot of weight on that one side, it's like doing one arm pull up. And if I'm too tight, I can't extend that arm. So that original grip that's out here, which I just found on the ground, is not gonna help me in that position. Now take a look at my hand one more time, and I want you to really focus on where my shoulder and my forearm are, okay? So as I go up here, shoulder, forearm. See, no weight, and my shoulder's locked in. Okay, that makes it again easier to hit that one pocket, and then when we traverse over, that's where the strength is. So now let's talk about the prerequisites. So first one you just heard, typewriter push-up on the ground, in my opinion, will help you a lot. Second thing I recommend is a pull-up with at least a 10 second hold with your chin above the bar, okay? So from here, grabbing on, and as you pull up, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there. Okay, so if you can hold it for 10 seconds, chances are you're probably gonna be able to start playing around with transitions into those different planes. So now, again, the planes of motion that we're gonna talk about here, this is gonna go into your archer pull-up, okay? This is plastered across the internet and it is a phenomenal prerequisite as well as a strength training tool. So from here, coming up, pull up one side and down. Pull up the other side and down. Okay, now with my archer pull-ups, I like to come up and then try and get my hand a little bit flat on the bar because it actually does promote that typewriter position when you're gonna start going across. I would recommend that not only do you have a 10 second hold above the bar, you have a 10 second hold under the bar and at least a 10 second dead hang. Um, the reason for this is because it's gonna take a lot of, it takes a lot of time when you're on the bar to go from one side to the other to rep this out. Um, you're gonna be using your entire back, right? Yes, the top part, okay? Um, a lot of your upper traps, um, rhomboid strength to stabilize in the middle, uh, mid traps, um, scapula, your delts, it's gonna be that whole band across the top, but you're also gonna need your core. If your core is out of whack and you can't hold a hollow body dead hang position, your typewriter is gonna look very flimsy, it's not gonna look super straight. Okay, now here's a couple of uh, tips and tricks for strength training towards getting a typewriter pull-up and also strength training to increase your typewriter either um, endurance or just the strength level of it, so making it look like really, really clean, okay? Um, so even if you have your typewriter already, these exercises can definitely help making it look more effortless, more transitional into other flow or other things you're gonna be doing on the bar. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is top down negative. So we're not gonna waste time getting up to the top because a lot of your movement actually happens up here. So grabbing a box, thumbs over the bar, holding right here. So you're gonna hold here for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, you're gonna go one side. Five, four, three, two, other side. Five, four, three, two, back to the middle. Five, four, three, two, head under the bar. Five, four, three, two, head below the bar, five, four, three, two, and perfect. Okay, if you cannot do five seconds in each of those positions, you can play around two seconds, one second, and then week over week, kind of try and strength train it to get a little bit better. All right, now let's go over full movement pattern, okay? So from here we're gonna use a band, loop it up, and then, okay. So I'm gonna get on my box, put my foot inside, Okay, so now I'm literally working the entire movement, okay? So I'm gonna come to the bottom range of motion, so again, feeling out that grip, thumbs over, so I feel that bottom range of motion. Now from here, I'm gonna come up, and out to the side, one, and out to the side, two, three, and four, okay. All right, so that's my second strength training tool 
that I'm gonna use. All right, and the last strength training tool I'm gonna use is full archer pull-ups, okay? And again, if you cannot do the archer pull-ups without the band, pop one foot in and do it with that. All right, so from here, arms go over, I have pull up one, pop, and down. And two, pop, and down. Three, pop, and down. And four, pop, and down, okay? So that's one little sequence, add it on back day, add it on stabilization day, and you're gonna be working towards your typewriter pull up. Hope this video helped. Remember, the beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. Let's go.